What TV show managed to be consistently fantastic from the first episode to the finale? Over the Garden Wall. It's a great show that's as heavily mismarketed as a sad and depressing show. I thought it was a lot of fun and its humor excels 100%. It's like nothing else I've ever seen while being so reminiscent of growing up in the 70s in the USA. All those folklore cartoons with quirky humor. The sometimes odd unintended creepiness of kids' shows. The song and dance numbers. It felt like so many of the short films on reels that teachers would show there in their classrooms, even that flickering quality of watching projected movies was somehow conveyed. All those stories that had lessons in them and the danger to children if not heeded. The music and the art of the animation were incredible. Loved this show so much. Rome was unfortunately cancelled after two amazing seasons. Rome wasn't cancelled in a day truly my favorite TV series of all time for the friendship, nay brotherhood. And Titus Pulo. 13th. Spaced. Hello Brian it's me, the weirdo from upstairs, I still say this regularly. Band of Brothers. CPT Sobel. We salute the rank not the man. Perfection. For some reason I never got around to watching the Pacific but I just started on that one this week. Dead like me, excluding the movie. Haven't seen the movie but came here for this. Love me some Mandy Paddington, love this show. Whilst the movie had some good features, overall it shouldn't have been made. Wish we got a proper finale. Black Adder. A million pounds, Baldrick. What would you do with a million pounds? Well, I suppose I'd buy a really large turnip. Baldrick, do you know what irony is? Yes, it's like Goldie and Bronzy, only it's made of iron. Pushing Daisies was a really fun and pretty show. A victim of the writer's strike. That show was so lovely and charming. A lot of Brian Fuller's stuff is amazing. Besides Pushing Daisies, I also loved Wonderfalls and Dead Like Me. I haven't seen Hannibal, though I hear it's great. And he did some of the better parts of Heroes and American Gods as well. Faulty Towers. I absolutely lose my shit in the episode where Basil loses his shit on his car and gives it a damn good thrashing with a tree branch he finds off camera there, is, too, much, butter, on, those, trays. K. There is too much butter on those trays. No, 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 senor. What? Not not on those trays. No sir, uno dos trays. Uno, dos, trays. Edit, formatting. Party down. I answer the same way every time this question comes up, like twice a week, and it seems like I'm the only person who watched it. Are we having fun yet, it's coming back. Chernobyl. Perfect television. Especially the addendum about their changes to the actual history, I would love more supplemental material like that after a historic series. Yes, I was just talking with a friend about how I have so much respect for the showrunners choosing to only do five episodes. I will happily take 5 absolute perfect episodes that fully tell a story instead of 10 to 22 episodes or countless seasons. Chernobyl is easily top 3 shows ever made and does so much with only 5 hours of screen time. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I really enjoyed Mind Hunters. Pretty big into suspense, drama crime type show so this blew it out of the water for me. I'm horribly disappointed we won't see the BTK storyline finish but it was so good all the cast to include directors have been let out of their contracts, so we prob won't get a third. Better off Ted. At Viridian Dynamics, we make everything. Better, I totally missed this when it originally aired, but a friend introduced me to it and it's one of my favorite comedies ever. It was so good. Magic School Bus. I knew I should have stayed home today. Remember the episode where the fish just all over the kids? I believe there was also an episode where one of the kids died when he took his helmet off in space. That show had some hilariously fucked up moments. Freaks and Geeks. And they cancelled it? This is the one show that really bothers me they can never make again. That cast was literally perfect, and they'll never be that young again. I know that can be said about a lot of shows, but it kills me the show wasn't ever finished. Such a shame too. The planned season 2 storyline of one of the kids having an abnormal friendship with his drama teacher, who is an alcoholic, and driving her around, bailing her out and helping her get sober, sounded amazing. Apparently the storyline was inspired by creator Judd Apatow's real-life experience of having to bail out his alcoholic drama teacher when he was a sophomore and help her get to her car cause she got drunk and left it at the bar. What we do in the shadows. How are you supposed to be a strong, thrilling, powerful warrior and lover with a name like Jeff? It is like a weak ejaculation. Ha, 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 ha. Jeff. Jackie Daytona. Gravity Falls. Grunkle Stan. I trust you woman gesturing OK. It so perfectly captured that melancholic aspect of every coming-of-age story. The show made me nostalgic for a pre-teen summer in the Pacific Northwest that I never even had. Fingers crossed the final season better call Saul. If you view S1 as stand-along, definitely true detective. 
That long take where they clean out the drug house is one of my favorite television scenes. That season was perfect. I couldn't hang with subsequent attempts, BC how does one match perfection? Flight of the Concords. I'm the mother flippin' in college I actually had to write a paper about a television show and why it was the best representation of its genre. I wrote all about Flight of the Concords. Best part was I just spent a day watching every episode. The humans are dead. I think Malcolm in the Middle is a masterpiece. My husband was something of a television snob. Since we got streaming TV, I've been introducing to some of the shows he's missed and, for the most part, never even heard of. I didn't think he'd like Malcolm in the Middle but it's turned out to be a big hit. We're in the fifth season now and have loved every minute. I especially love Hal's meltdowns. Brian Cranston does them so well, every episode is wonderful. But when Reese ships himself to China takes the cake for me as the best scene in TV history. Justified. The best bad guys ever. Fuck yeah. Walton Goggins is still my favorite villain of all time. I rewatched recently, and I kinda like him more than Raylan I am binge watching the series for the first time right now. I'm on S4 after a week and a half and I can't stop. It's so excellent so far so it's good to hear it ends well too. Fleabag. And the second season following a different theme and storyline and still being just as good as the first one. Really rare. The first episode of the second season always gives me chills, this is a love story point two amazing seasons. I recently rewatched both seasons over two nights, I think it's the third rewatch and still super enjoyable. Chewing gum is a totally different vibe, but when I think of shows where every episode is excellent I think Fleabag and Chewing Gum. Deadwood, you cocksickers. Ian McShane's I'll swear and made the whole show. Just brilliant. Well, fuck me for the limberdick cocksicker that I am. The IT crowd. Father. It's been years and I still have that fucking phone number jingle memorized. 0118 999 88199 9119 Ian 725. 3. Afterlife, as a cancer widow, it helped me so much. It also helped others understand the affects of grief. Laughing, crying, sobbing, laughing again. An absolute masterpiece from start to finish. I've really been digging it too. It's raw and real. He's a total dick, completely broken, and he's set and has good moments and days. It's so real. It's such a well made show that's done in only a way that Ricky Gervais can do it. I can definitely see how it would be relatable and even triggering for some people, but glad there is a show like this that helps bring light to these situations. Six feet under. Yes. What an amazing finale. Probably the best in TV history. Edit. Thank you guys for the awards. This is my favorite TV show ever. A show about death explains life better than any other show. Justified is the only other show I felt was as smart as this one was. White Collar. The Wire. The Wire is the perfect TV show. All the pieces matter. I need it. Firefly. Not by choice though. Still hurts I feel like Serenity was a nice wrap up and took a lot of the sting of the sudden cancellation off. Futurama. As an adult now. I love re-watching it and finding out more hidden jokes and easter eggs. Agreed. It was funny as a kid but as an adult it's an amazing show -ies. This is my comfort show, I put it on just to have it on. I'm so cautiously optimistic for the slew of new EPS. Sopranos was pretty consistent. I had to scroll too far for this. Frankly, I'm depressed and ashamed. I believe the ending has aged well. So agreed. M-A-S-H. What I was going to say. Rewatching now and my opinion remains. Absolutely solid and important show. Along with All in the Family, and Star Trek, it pushed progressive views like, anti-war, anti-homophobia, and annual L anti-racism. Also touching on mental health, and feminism. All in a time where culture we teetering on the edge and transitioning into a new world. I had to go through too many comments to find this. I still love that show. Atla and Chernobyl are the first that come to mind. Atla equals Avatar, The Last Airbender. The animated TV series. We don't talk about the movie. What is Atla? All the comments just use an abbreviation and I have no idea haha Chernobyl give me some feelings that any other TV show made me have. Arrested Development, the original three seasons, not the Netflix stuff. Brilliantly written, incredible cast, honestly I wouldn't change a thing. I probably watched it five times. Illusions, Michael. Tricks are what a whore does for money Ive made a huge mistake. The Americans. How is this one so far down? That finale was perfect. I still think about that garage scene at least once a week. Venture Brothers. They're going to have a movie coming out, this year hopefully, to wrap things up better. Point 21, gentlemen, choose your weapons. 24, looks at closet full of collectible toys and replicas, is this them? 21, correcting 24, are these they? 24, who talks like that? Monarch arrives. Out of the way. 
backslash i backslash am the leader here. Backslash i backslash will distribute the w, w, uh, are these they? Psych. Men son there's not many shows where the main characters could unwittingly help someone break out of prison, back into prison, and back out of prison again and have it seem somehow plausible and be hilarious.